Hello everyone, good morning and good afternoon and good evening. In today's tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to design punching shear reinforcement using Pico Designer software. Before I start the practical demonstration, I will briefly explain the relevant Aerocode chapter related to the punching design. Please have a look. As you see the Aerocode 2, uh, the chapter 6.4 completely uh, related to the punching shear design also and we use this chapter for our demonstration in Pico software let's start I received the load from robot software and this particular example I would like to design S number 4 and S number 18 the force is here we have 593 in S4 it's the age and we have the 1715 in the middle and S18. Let's start our Pico designer. I'm just selecting the punching reinforcement. Yes, I'm agree with the documentation and click OK. OK, and I maximize my I go from 1-1, one, one. I start from rename that S number 4. I call that S number 4. The first start from the material. The material is uh, C35-37 and the rebar is B500C. And I describe my geometry. The geometry is in the edge, as you see my PDF. It's in the edge, and we have so 592. Again, I back to my structure, and the thickness syllab is the uh, 300. There is no distance, zero. And uh, we go ahead. The thickness concrete is 35 by 35 in top and bottom. There is no open uh, opening, and we can put the load. The load is again. I go to the design 592, uh, 593. <sighs> if you see this, the beta factors beta factor is 1.4 we can go back to the our code if you look it's correct according to the code 1.4 it's correct something is not passed now what's the design is passed you can i would like to change to this 16 16 150 and both returning and with the it's not passed and again if I go 100 to 100 it's passed uh, our design is successfully passed if you want to look the, uh, uh, this the, the design just go to the print and click this all of and you can look here is the calculation and forces and you can print out and add it in your documentation and you can fill also the company or some things project name like that this part is finished and now I would like to copy that and again paste this time I call that rename I design in the middle I call us 16 if I go back to my geometry, this time I would like to 
check it change it like that again I back to my load the load is very high I think we are not able to achieve we should put 200 we can increase the thickness in the middle just I want to increase our thickness of slab maybe we can use the four 500 in the middle and 400 the size of the column it's correct and we can put the load and if we go back and we can see we have once 1750 1700 like 60 our design is passed I want to increase that the distance the reinforcement 200 by 200 it's not passed again I make 150 to decrease my little bit yeah 100 100 we have in the top layer 100 100 millimeter in the top in the both x and y direction and we have some stud vico stud uh, the design the two design is now finished this was the first design it's the second design i think something is missing here i just um, do something is wrong but and i would like i would like to rename that just i make them s five like that this rename is 118 18 sorry and the second one will be four now the boat the boat uh, syllabus design remember one thing as i compare the result uh, the result of robot software and Pico designer and I I think that Pico designer is designed very correctly because in robot always they are not take care of the beta factor the robot structure has always used the beta factors one it's not correct um, I highly recommend you use the Pico it's a very safe and it's very uh, suitable uh, you will get a very suitable result thank you for watching i hope see you in the upcoming episode bye